Hi, okay, so today I decided to get ready. Even though I don't think I'm leaving my house, I decided to get ready because I've been feeling just not very good. The point of me sitting here today is I got um, my package in from H&M home. They were having a sale, I don't know if it's still going on, but I had all this stuff in my cart for weeks and then I went on just to like check up on it, see if they got anything new and they were having a sale. I think I got 20% off or 15% off. I got a lot of stuff so I'm going to show you guys. I have another huge box right here so I don't really have room for this stuff right now um, in my house but it's okay. We're going to start with a small box. I got a lot of like they have um, like home decor and they had a lot of rattan which you guys know me in return. I love it. Oh, what is this? Oh. I wonder what this is. I'm a little bit scared and intrigued. I bought all this stuff at nighttime and nighttime shopping never really works out for me. I have no self-control at nighttime. Oh, I guess I have to put it together. It came all apart. But it doesn't look too hard. This is the instructions. I don't know why I thought this would come already put together, but I think you just have to snap that in place. Oh, this is hard. That was actually pretty easy to put together. Shit. Do you think this will come out? Of course I did this. Okay, I'm literally sweating of a storm. Ugh. I found this thing, which is a little scary looking. It looks like something you would like take to pull out a tooth. But I think... I don't even know what this is or where it came from, but I'm happy I had it. Okay, let's stick this back in. Okay, so it actually wasn't hard to put together. Um, it looks super cute. If you wanted to get that rattan look without like investing in a rattan um, like chair which can be really expensive you can definitely get this i think this would be cute if you get like three and like maybe i could have like gotten three and put them in each of these three things because they are clear so j why didn't i think about that sooner um while they were on sale so this is my little thing i got from Buclair, and i put it in here and i feel like it i mean it's cute it's one way to like style it if you had like three so it's even. Anyway, um, I love baskets and pots. They're like my favorite thing ever. So I really like that. They also have it in a brown wood. So I'm just gonna grab them randomly and pull them out. There's a bunch of little boxes. Just what I need, more boxes in the house. This is gonna look so good on my coffee table because I have a rattan chair, so it'll all tie together. I'll show you guys that in a sec. Another good way to tie in that trend without um, spending a billion dollars, I got a linen pillowcase. Ooh, you guys, this is stunning. This is kind of the size of um the statue i was expecting when i ordered it from amazon but i got like a literally the smallest head in the world this is actually really cool i mean she just have pretty pointy nipples but i like this because it reminded me of like greek Ooh, hello it reminded me of like greek statues this is very very pretty it's like a really nice um stone white color it's not stark white and then lastly what is this this is bigger than what I was expecting, but that's good because I like oversized things and it means that you're getting your money's worth 
And the price was right. The price was so good. This like donut looking thing. I don't know. These are pretty hefty. I definitely thought this was going to be um, a little bit smaller. Again, I have so many vases in this house. I keep just buying pots over and over. So I'm going to go clean up my mess, style them, and then I'll show you guys all the stuff styled in my current house, even though I bought this for my next house. Okay, so we put this madame here. Um, I really love her. She is very cute. Her nipples are a little bit um, out there, but you know what? It's okay. Looks like mine most days. I put her on top of this um, architectural digest book that I got. I think it looks very pretty. And then also I have my extra, this black carpet I vacuumed literally yesterday. Whatever you do, do not get a solid black rug and do not get a glass coffee table if i was to advise you of one thing or two things do not get a black rug and do not get a glass coffee table i put this little basket on like the bottom shelf Oof. okay so i just got home from my walk with leo i want to walk 10,000 steps a day yesterday was the first day um i only got in about 7,000 steps which was a lot for me because normally i do like three thousand on a good day which is like a little bit embarrassing if you follow me on instagram you'd know that in august i had an allergic reaction to something in my skincare routine um it terrified me i woke up with like hives all over my face so i wanted to switch up my skincare routine my sister at the time had started using biosauce we went to sephora together and she just fell in love with the brand and she ordered a little discovery kit and then when we were in toronto she went to sephora and bought everything in the line so she was already a huge fan of them so when they reached out to me to do a collab i was like what happened but they sent me some products about a month ago and I've been testing them out. The products are all like clean and ethically sourced. I did not plan for my sweater to match the bottle. <laughs> that, that was just a fluke. The big thing is square lane. I think that's how you say it. So your body actually produces its own version of square lane called square lean. So they're very similar, but square lean is what your body produces. And then square lane is what kind of mimics that. And you can use it like in your skincare products and a lot of skincare products have squalene but did you know that squalene was derived from shark liver i did not know that their squalene actually comes from sugar cane from brazil so it is ethically sourced it is doesn't come from a shark you don't have to kill a shark to get it for your skincare product and their squalene actually saves two million sharks a year because of their ethically sourced sugarcane squalene. So squalene is really good for moisture for your skin. And this is their new cleanser. It's a squalene and amino acid gentle cleanser. So it says it gives you a deep cleanse with aloe and an amino acid complex without over drying. I use this at night and in the morning and it really cleanses your pores. I've actually noticed a big difference on my nose. I have really bad blackheads and um, my pores are pretty big, especially here. I've noticed the biggest difference specifically in my nose. It just gives you a really nice deep cleanse, but doesn't dry your skin. So it does give you a nice little lather, which I like, but it's not a little crazy. And also it cleanses off the pore clogging, like environmental pollution, which I've actually been researching. I might not focus. I'm just gonna rinse this off quickly. I watched this um, video called Explained on Netflix about skin. And one of the things that I learned from that video is that environmental pollutions can age your skin. So you definitely don't want that sitting on your face overnight. I am getting my period, so I'm breaking out. We're not gonna look at that. But my skin just feels so clean and fresh. Then in the morning, I've been going in with this. This is the Squalene and Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. I use this during the day. Vitamin C is like one of my favorite skincare products because it really helps with like acne spots. I remember before I used, started using Vitamin C, I had like acne scarring right here and vitamin C got rid of it. Like it is no joke. Also at nighttime, this is actually the product my sister was going on and on about. It's the lactic acid resurfacing night serum. Literally after one night of using it, your skin just looks so dewy and fresh and smooth and it really helps with textures. I also got their um, vegan lip balm. All their products are vegan. Their lip treatment. Oh, it feels so so good i love a good lip treatment okay so that's it i'm ready for the day i actually have not been wearing makeup on the daily i have been really 
hating wearing makeup. Like I only put makeup on if I really have to and I wash it off as soon as I get home. Thank you Biosnots for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I do have a coupon code for you guys. It is right here. I will also leave it listed down below and I will leave them linked down below. So now I'm gonna go get dressed and get ready for the day. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Okay, so I quickly showered and put my, I'm wearing this hat because I'm just not putting makeup on today. <laughs> um, and then I'm wearing a TNA top, don't mind my mess. Some leggings from Fabletics and then I'm going to bring I'm going to bring this sweater because it I think it's chilly outside. I'm just gonna put it around my waist and then I'm gonna carry ooh carry this bag. It's been my everyday bag. It's like beaten up. But that's what I'm wearing. I'm going to lunch with Nikki. We have a Leo. Can you get to bed? Oh it's so sad. I wish I could leave you out, but you will pee on everything and bark up a storm. Okay, so I'm going to hit the road. I think we're going for lunch. I'll show you guys where we end up going. Um, I've been eating a lot recently, and I'm also detoxing from sodium. That's a story for a later time. Nikki and I are walking downtown. We're in Westmount now. We're going to Cote Cuisine. So good. To get a coffee and some lunch. This is actually where I used to go to siege up right up this hill. I spent so many days here. It was it's literally right up here. It was miserable, but it's such a beautiful day. Such a nice day for a walk. Getting my 10,000 steps in, you yes, guys. Yes, we are. Hey, you guys. Long time no talk. Yes, I do look a little bit insane right now. Um, I was at work all day. My sister messaged me um, saying that they had Le, Cru Le Crusette at um, Winner's Home Sense. And I've been on a, um, a bender, a Le Crusade bender, because my sister got me one for my birthday. Is it very dark in here? Anyways, my sister got me a pot. My sister got me um, a big pot on my for my birthday with Nikki. And I cooked with her the other day, and it was just like such an enjoyable experience. Like, I really loved it. I hate to say that because it's so expensive, but I've been trying to add to my collection this. You guys know with me, like if I find something I really like, I become obsessed with it and I want it in every shape and color and size. When my sister told me they had pans and stuff at Winners, I flew right over there because I just really want to invest in, I don't need like a lot of, of pans and stuff, but I want to invest in like a few good ones. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. I got Leo the cutest bed and then I also got my last two boxes of H&M stuff. So I'm going to show you guys that also. There's a lot of really cute things. I'm honestly overall ordering home decor from H&M has been an amazing experience. Nothing came broken. It was really fast, like surprisingly fast. And I have a lot to show you, so let's get into it. I think we left off at me with my little madame and a few other things. It came in three boxes of stuff. I did order a lot. I got this wood tray. I love trays, just adding them on dressers, adding them on shelves. Um, and I really love wood, so I picked that up. And I also really love like natural tones, just like my clothes, I literally only wear natural tones. The next thing I picked up is actually really adorable. It's this rattan little, I want to say like jewelry box or you can keep like whatever you want in there it is so pretty i only have two small remotes so i'll probably put this on my coffee table and put my remotes inside because it would look cute hide remotes okay the next thing i got is this throw blanket which is really pretty you could never have enough throw blankets recycled polyester it's like a really pretty creamy beige color just to throw over a chair or throw over a bed the next thing i picked up is this little guy here which i i'm assuming you can use it as a pot but i want to use it more of just like decoration right now i'm very limited on where i can decorate before it becomes like too cluttered but when i move i'll definitely have room for them so this little head Excuse me. Then I also got this statue here. Um, all the tones go really nice together. I really like this also like sitting on a bookshelf. All their stuff really flows nicely together. And then I got, I think I, I accidentally ordered two of these, but I'm not mad. I got these rattan, can you tell I love rattan? I got these rattan baskets. Don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I got two of them. I also got this wood pot um, because I have this orchid, which is like dying on me, okay? These things are so hard to keep alive. 
I literally spent like an hour researching how to keep an orchid alive. So if you have any tips, like leave them down below. It's just dying on me. So I got this pot for it. Oh, it looks so much better. Remember my DIY pot that like looked decrepit and gross and it was molding? Um, this looks so much better. Finally have a pot that fits this orchid. Hopefully it will regrow. I love orchids, they're so pretty. Okay, so then I went to Winners and I didn't buy much. That's a lie, I spent a good amount of money, but I'll show you guys what I Oh my God, everything I bought myself, I also bought for my sister. So I spent a lot of money, but half of it is not, is not for me. So I got this little loaf pan. You guys are probably like, I literally don't care. This was $26 Canadian, which is a lot, but it was on sale. And I really only need like one good loaf pan. You know, I'm not out here baking bread every day or banana bread. Ooh. Even though banana bread does sound really good. And then I got a rectangular cake tin. But for me, this is not just a cake tin. Like I will cook chicken in here, vegetables. Like it's just like a baking tin. So I got one for myself and one for Allie. And then I got a square cake tin. Again, not limited to cake. And then I got us each a muffin tin. Cause like my muffin tin, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> My muffin tins are so old and like breaking apart. Check your home sense or maybe your home goods. It's basically like the same thing. Home sense is like Canadian version of home goods. You probably will have it. But last but not least, we got Mr. Leo a new bed. So I thought we would show you guys. I have it all decorated for Halloween. The rest of my house is not decorated for Halloween. But of course Leo's bed is decorated for Halloween. So I saw this bed and I just knew I automatically <laughs> needed to get it for Leo. This I actually wanted to get for my bedroom when I move. I thought that it would just look cute in there. It matches my vibe, very earthy and very neutral. So I got that. The mattress, not gonna lie, is not the most comfortable. So I might figure something out for him. <laughs> I might get him like a mattress foam. I'm totally kidding. But I put a blanket on, on it for him his toy he's probably like mom why did you get this for me when i have the couch that i love laying on but um for my bed or for the upstairs or maybe in my closet when i'm filming like he can stay there which if you guys watch my house update you'd know i have no idea when that is and then this rug it's a bathroom rug but i put it under there because it kind of made a noise that i knew would scare him so i got this at Beauclair, and then this little pumpkin i turned on for the video but i also got it it's actually very cute it would honestly look cute if you had like a little plant <laughs> But I'm getting carried away, okay? I actually went through the past few days and completely organized my house. Like, I, I donated and got rid of so much stuff that I didn't need. Is this going to open? So, this looks like a mess. But this is what it looked like before, okay? So, can we just acknowledge that it looks way better right now? <laughs> This is my front closet. I had boxes of stuff up there that I did not need. So I got rid of that. I donated it. It was like sample clothes that I ordered and just like stuff that I have not used in years. So I donated it. These are my coats. This is actually stuff I have to sell on Poshmark. Um, and this is stuff I have to bundle up for giveaways. And then I have a chair back there. It's like a storage unit. This is more clothes I need to bundle up for giveaways. Um, but this is a big carpet cleaner. I have to give it back to the owner. And then here I just have like rollerblades and shoes. Like it looks like a big mess. But everything in this closet I'm taking with me to my new house. So I feel so good. Okay, so here I think is the last I'm going to add to my living room. I love this decoration here. The colors flow so nicely together. So at the top I have this little thing. <laughs> this is the Ralph Lauren book I got, but I took the outside off because it was green. And then this one is the Vogue on location. And then this one I actually got at um, Chapters or Indigo now. And it was $30 because it's a little broken. So definitely check the clearance at um indigo if you're in canada and you want like the best of the best coffee table books and you don't want to order them online check indigo they have all of them here i have my donut a little weird but she's cute down here i have my half sculpture face which i think is cute i have them all here because i literally have nowhere else to put them but 
I think he's cute over here with some other books. And then in here, I actually have some uh, another pot. I have nowhere to put it. So I'm just, you know, left her there. And then over here, I'm charging my ring camera because I have a doorbell boa. And I it's not attached to like a power source, so I have to charge it. But I will put that back out today. I love having a ring camera, especially because I get so many packages. However, one time in the middle of the night, I woke up and it said, someone's at your front door in the middle of the night and no one was there. It was terrifying. And then I got this new olive tree, which is absolutely stunning. I got it from a place in Montreal called Verano Design, I think. I will leave it linked down below. It's a little bit pricey, but it's beautiful. My dad was like, I had to get up to see if it was a real olive tree because you can see like the branch, it looks so real. So I had, I think it was an Isle of Paradise plant here before, but this just looks so much better. I wanted to get this for my new living room, but in the meantime, I was like, I can use it in here. Fun fact, I love this olive tree because it's beautiful, but also in Greece, my family owns an olive tree. I don't want to say an olive tree farm, but like olive trees, they own olive trees and they make olive oil. And so I just, I also love olives and they're beautiful. So it reminds me of Greece and my family. So there's that. You guys have seen this. Oh, don't mind my mess. I was eating my breakfast. I had a pita with peanut butter and bananas. You guys have seen this. Do you want to tell them what you did this morning? I cleaned out my pantry and I guess I had a rotten potato, okay? Oh, you don't have to move. I don't know where he found it, but on the floor, I he was rubbing himself on something, and I look at it, and it looks like he had... Oh, whoa! It looked like he had like a, a dried up liver in his mouth, and so I went to grab it out of his mouth, and he's the pickiest dog ever. Like, he will not eat dog treats. He doesn't eat human food. Like, he eats his own food and chicken and cheese. <laughs> but apparently, he also likes rotten, moldy potatoes, so I tried to get it out of his mouth, but... He was acting like it was the best thing he'd ever tasted. So this is my little rattan thing. I guess you could put jewelry or whatever you want. And inside I just have my TV remotes. I actually don't use my TV remotes that often because I use the app, but I thought that if you had um, like a Roku or a fire stick, they're out of sight. So yeah, that is all the stuff kind of styled. You saw the rest of the stuff. I have this little basket here, but I'm literally running out of spot places to put it. I don't have anywhere to put this basket, so. It's kind of just chilling. Honestly, with the amount of rattan and rattan accessories I got, like with that and that and that, I look like I am rattan's number one fan and that's my favorite thing. But I wanted to just show you guys because it's good ways to incorporate it in your house without having to splurge on a chair. Although they do have some affordable chairs and I saw um, some DIYs on how to make rattan furniture. So that's always great. Alrighty, I'm gonna go finish cleaning. Okay, so we just got off um, a Zoom meeting for our first potential influencer collab with CNC, and I think it went very well. We've never done this before. We've always just like, we've never even like sponsored content before, like never. anyone. Like, and we only recently started sending it our stuff to influencers. The influencer we might collab with is like very different than myself, and like. Alley, so it like reaches a whole different demographic and I just think it'll be very fun and interesting So we did that and now What do we have to do? Okay, we're gonna clean the closet then we're gonna order the inventory and then we're gonna mock up the September calendar for Tony Do you want to open this? Let's clean first. Our new notepads. We got them for CNC. They are little so cute. notepads you can see so I'm gonna go ahead and plan my whole day because if I don't, I will literally just sit here and do nothing. I'm going through my sweatpants now. I just have way too many. Um, and I'm getting, I'm selling a lot. These are like my Aritzia and my Joa Brown. I'm donating a lot and then, or giving away a lot and then this keeping is like some. So satisfying. So, fun fact about Tony is that she has a hard time closet purging if I'm not here. I'm here for encouragement and assistance. They don't fit into the color coordination, huh? No, they're a little rogue. Oh, I have to ruin my perfect pile. No, it looks perfect. Look at that. That is satisfying. How are you doing today, Leo?